Good afternoon. We're broadcasting live from the Belt Residence, specifically Jason's room. And there is a word from the Lord today from Psalm 139, verses 1, 2, and 3. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You, Lord, are familiar with all my ways. Let's bow our heads in prayer. God, it is a blessing to be known thoroughly and completely and then loved. I thank you and I praise you, God, right now for the way that you surround your people with love. Now, as we approach your word, remind us that you do know us and that you do love us and that you do care about those things that concern us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. How wonderful and how fearful it is to be known by God. The psalmist says, O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You have searched me. The word has a sense of digging into or drilling down. The, the psalmist could easily have said, Lord, you have excavated me. Um, one person translated, God, you dig me. You dig me, Lord. You know the things that set me off. You know what um, makes me have anxiety and fear. You notice when I'm in despair and you care about me. In the same way that we are known and cared about, God calls us to know and care for each other. God calls us to move beyond the walls of self and open ourselves to the great opportunity to love on the world as God loves on the world. To God, we are fascinating, we're interesting. God knows us. God's eye is on the sparrow. This is the God who keeps our tears in a bottle. This is the God who took out divine knitting needles and carefully created human beings. This is the God who knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. And this is the God that counts every hair on our heads. Yes, we live in unprecedented and anxious times. Yes, we live in fearful times. Yes, there are people who are going off the deep end. Yes, there are things that are happening that make us even more afraid than just being afraid of the virus. But God knows us. And God is consistently working things for our good. Rest in that knowledge. Amen.